Hello, everybody. Rose here. Today I'm reacting to a live stream that Foodie did last night called In My Room. So this live stream was quite short. It was less than half an hour. But it was a live stream that Foodie did directly after Gary Unfiltered completed his live chat. So I believe that Foodie was watching his chat and purposely waited until his chat was done before she started up this live stream. I'm going to give you guys a little spoiler. Nothing really special happened in this live stream. She was just complaining about the reaction channels. She was in her room, high, laying down on her bed. That was pretty much the stream. Uh, Foodie has said recently that if anybody starts to snipe her stream, that she's going to cut off her stream. I wish someone would test that out. <laughs> I want someone to test that theory out, but if that somebody starts to snipe her, she's going to cut off her stream because you know what? If she cuts off her stream, the only person she's hurting is herself. She's cutting off her own income, but hey, it's what she wants to do. So let me just go ahead and share the screen so you guys can see what I see. There's Foodie. As, like I said, she's in her bed. She's high. She's going to be complaining and bitching about the reaction channels and this is the content that she wants to protect this is the content y'all she's not doing anything extraordinary she's not tap dancing or juggling jugs of fire this is the content that she's determined to protect but let's go ahead and watch her complain Biggest set. <sighs> 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 Aunt Janet, oh, are you so high? <laughs> Mr. Old Rage, Julia Bell Shammy, Tata. Hi, Sam. Did you guys get a notification or no? I would probably guess no. <laughs> Alexis, <laughs> your profile picture. <laughs> Make lasagna, Lizzie. You did. Yay. Hi, Lizzie. That's good news. Chaperone Cherry. So I guess if I wait a few hours in between, or maybe after midnight, if I go live, once after midnight, have a midnight stream. Oh, hey, Down Under. So that's the plan. I guess that's a new plan for Foodie. That, you know, she's going to try to duck, dog, dodge, and weave all the reaction channels. So part of the plan is let me stream really, really late so that nobody can snipe me. You do realize, Foodie, that the reaction channels are going to catch on to the fact that you're streaming really, really late. And they'll adjust their schedules. And also, it hurts you because some of the people that are in your chat, some of your VIBs, they have to work. They've got jobs. So they can't stay up late and be part of your live chat, which means fewer membership signups and fewer super chats for you. By trying to duck, dodge, and weave all the reaction channels, you're only hurting your in own income, but go ahead. What a time I see. Gemini Gem. You're styling now. You look even more like Andy Warhol now. <laughs> Notification squad. Hi, Rhonda. Hi. <clears throat> so, hello, Anna Loverly. A lot going on in your personal life. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope it gets better for you. True. It's true. Look up Andy Warhol right now. Artsy. 
interesting thing about Andy Warhol, something that he said that I'll never forget. He said, everybody has 15 minutes of fame. Anybody ever heard that about Andy? That everybody has 15 minutes, 15 minutes of fame. If that's true, Foodie, your 15 minutes has been up for a long time. And I don't know if you'll get another 15 minutes, but you're not going to get it by acting the same way you've been acting. It's the late night beach and crew. Late night crew, Beezer Roo. Listen, I need a favor from you guys. The minute somebody starts go stream sniping my stream, like even playing my stream, even if it's not from the, even if it's not live, and you notice, I want to know. And what? You're not making sense. So, what are you saying? You don't want people sniping your live as it's happening, but you also don't want people to play the live after it goes into the replay and it's not live anymore. I'm kind of confused. Also, I have these people. I have a setup. Some I have a setup so that. Oh, I'm alerted. <laughs> Yeah, it's called notifications. If you sub to a channel, you get notified the moment they go live. That system has been in place for a long time, Foodie. So why do you need people in your own chat to tell you when other people go live? Just sub to their channels and you'll know when they go live. You don't need anybody in your VIBs being snitches. So that every single time these people go live? I got a notification. So, I watched your video after you guys directed me, and because you said it's embarrassing to pass gas with a roommate and look how far you've come. <laughs> yeah, the hospital's friggin' embarrassing. <sighs> Rosalia, hello, Alexis. Not right now. Arizona Jody, welcome to Very Important Beezers, Arizona Jody. Ready, set, bees. Mm. Yeah, like. And by the way, foodie, take a look at your numbers. Take a look at your numbers. You did this live seven hours ago. Look at your views. A little over 3,000. For those who are not aware, YouTube pays a very small amount per thousand views. Not much at all. Like $10, $12 per thousand views. So yeah, her video got 3,363 views to anybody who is not a YouTuber. That looks like a lot. And maybe you might be thinking that's a lot of money. It really isn't. So all this effort to protect your content so that nobody can snipe you, you're not exactly doing well by being overprotective of it. Sorry, but. <clears throat> Whatever, Rusty. If you guys come in with false alarms, I'm going to block you for good. <laughs> Because I said the minute that if somebody starts stream sniping to let me know, and I'm going to get off live right away. But if you guys give me false alarms, that's not cool. Somebody do it. Please get do it. Please give her false alarms. That'd be funny. But I don't really trust Rusty because they're a troll, so. <laughs> Alexis, your fucking picture sucks. It's Andy Warhol. I was watching a bunch of your old vids. By the way, BBJ looks exactly the same as she did years ago. So people can suck it. I don't care. What do they think? That she's going to be a fucking... She's a fucking... 
she's a fossil she's 20 she's a what an awful thing to say about your own cat oh she's a fossil she's an elderly cat and it's awful that you refer to her as a fossil and bbj has changed i know the cat is older than she was before but I saw a side-by-side -side of a picture of BBJ just a few years ago compared to how she looks now. She doesn't look well. She absolutely does not look well and she isn't well. According to Foodie, her breath stinks. Anybody who's a cat owner, you know that if your cat stinks, that's not natural. A cat's breath should not stink. If a, cat, a cat's breath stinks, that points to a medical problem. That points to something going on with their teeth. And the last time that Fodi took BBJ to the vet, the vet told her on the phone in that recorded call when she was in the, the car with Roman that BBJ needed to go back for oral surgery. And that was months ago. So that poor cat is running around with something going on with her mouth and Fodi will not take care of it. And yet she won't give the cat to somebody else who can take care of it. So BBJ is suffering. She's having problems with her teeth. She's not fine, Foodie. It's just not a matter of her being an elderly cat and being old. It's a matter of her being an elderly cat and sick. And the sick part is not being dealt with. It's an old cat. What do they think? She's gonna be fucking youthful forever? Like, they just pick apart any dumb shit. I'm friggin' tired of it. Like, shut the F up, man. I also want to remind everyone of something that Foodie herself said a while ago. She said the reason why she wasn't taking the cats to the vet was to spite her haters. Imagine that, someone who's so hateful and so thoughtless that just despite their haters, they're going to deny their own pets care. Imagine being so defiant that you would punish your own pets just to spite people that you can't see and you don't know. <clears throat> yeah, of course, there's some harmless ones. Yeah, I don't give a shit what you say about me. Just don't fucking fuck with my friggin'. Don't fuck with my money, man. Screw you. Get out of here. Get your own content. God, they're like leeches. The minute I go live, they're going to all go live at the same time? I don't think so. That ain't going to fly. I will get the fuck off live so fast. And you'll mess up your own money. You know, this, this is classic foodie right here. This is part of the foodie brand. Everything is everybody else's fault. It's never my fault. If I'm losing views, if I'm losing money, the fault must lie with the reaction channels. They're the ones at fault. They're to blame. It can't be me. It can't be because I'm not putting any effort into my content. It can't be because I'm not truly entertaining people or the fact that I'm talking about the same subjects over and over again and people are bored. No, it can't be that. It can't be that. No, it has to be these evil, wicked reaction channels that are sniping me. They're to blame those evil, bad people. They're the reason why I'm losing money. I come on camera high, unwashed, rude, lazy. That's perfectly acceptable, right, foodie? People will just eat that up. No, they're not. They're bored to tears with you. If you were interesting, if you were entertaining, if your content was strong on its own, people would come to see you directly. They would watch you directly. They wouldn't go to reaction channels. They go to the reaction channels because the reaction channels make watching you tolerable. You don't make you tolerable. People will come to see you if the content was good, but it's not. It's obviously not because you're losing money, you're losing views, 
You're over there spending your time trying to find ways to get money out of people with tactics of manipulation, lying. Oh, look, I'm leaving YouTube. Everybody sign up for OnlyFans at $20 a pop. Just trying to think of ways to scam people out of money immediately versus doing the one thing that you could do to bring more money to pocket. And that's put the work in. It's also true of Natter's channel. He's over there losing money, losing views like crazy. And yet he won't get it through his head that he needs to get off his butt and do some actual cooking and care about his content. He's learned all the bad habits from you. He's an awful, evil, foul person, as are you. And is it any wonder that both of your channels are suffering the same fate? Is he going to sit there and blame the reaction channels too? Oh, I heard last night that he was trying to mess with Queen Natter El Shami's channel. Couldn't do it. But the both of you, you and Natter, you both are taking the route of instead of looking at ourselves and seeing what we can do to fix ourselves, let's blame everybody else for us losing money. It's no one's fault but y'all's. Screw you. Is that an eyelash on my pillow? <laughs> like you could easily like this. When they start on the cat care, it irritates the hell out of me. I don't care if it does irritate you. I really don't care, Rhonda, if it irritates you. Go ahead, get irritated, because I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off at Foodie for being a neglectful cat owner, for making the money that she does, and she can't do simple things to keep her cats healthy. So be irritated. You be irritated, and I'll be pissed off. And I will speak how pissed off I am at Foodie every chance I get. Because she is a neglectful pet owner. She is. She doesn't provide a clean house for them. She doesn't take them to the groomers. Doesn't take them to the vet. She runs out of food half the time. Which is why Sam beats up on BBJ to get a little bit more food. She's a bad pet owner. All she cares about herself. She's on live stream 6 to 10 hours a day. She hardly gives them any attention. The attention that she does give them, she does it in front of the camera because she wants to appear that she's a good cat owner. And she's not. So go ahead and be irritated. I don't care. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off because those cats deserve better. And unfortunately, they lost the lottery as far as having a good pet owner. They got foodie. I mean, there's a million, billions and billions of people in the world. Obviously, not every single person is going to be the same level of cat care person than the other. Get a life. Like, worry about your own self. My cats are, like, freaking well taken care of. That's all you need to worry about. No, they're not. Y you want to prove it? Take BBJ to the vet. Get a checkup. Show us the results. I dare you. I dare you. Have the pet give BBJ a checkup and show us the results on paper. Guarantee the, the, pet, the vet's not going to say she's healthy. Yes, <laughs> 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 Alexis Applebee's to make <laughs> Dee Dee and Andy Warhol mashup. <laughs> Rosalia, using someone's whole video live stream is not considered fair use. Oh, but they think that pausing it and calling me a bitch is fucking, uh, or ho, or talking about, like, oh, she opened a can, like, I don't know, so stupid, stupid stuff, I don't know. <laughs> so this person, Tata, apparently you're not a YouTuber. Tata says, from what I have read, 
using someone's whole video live stream is not considered fair use, especially if it's monetized. Well, that's where you're wrong, Tata. It's considered fair use if we transform it. We can do that in several ways by adding content such as pictures or commentary or editing. We can do that. That's covered under the terms of service. But if all of you VIBs over there, the ones of you that are being scammed and lied to and manipulated by foodie, if y'all are gonna be over there reading the terms of service, then you should know this. A lot of things that Foodie does on her own streams are against TOS. Her coming on camera half dressed against TOS, being high on camera against TOS. She's broken it hundreds of times and yet YouTube won't touch her because of money. Simple answer, because of money. They're making money off of Foodie. So Foodie's over there breaking terms of service all over the place. She constantly gets shadow banned. And for those who don't know what that means, shadow banned is when you do a naughty no-no and YouTube pretty much just slaps your hand and sends you to the timeout corner by not letting your channel be first in any searches. If somebody's looking for you, your channel is going to be far down the page. She's been shadow banned, I don't know how many times. But Tata, you're over there saying, oh, it's against TOS what they're doing. At the same time, you're supporting someone who breaks terms of service by coming on camera half nude and flashing herself. So which is worse? Somebody reacting to her stream or her coming on camera half nude and flashing her punani at everybody on a platform that's not adult only. <laughs> Just whatever. Oh my god. Ooh. I don't even care about that. It's like the stream sniping in like real time. It's like, no. And something else I want to add in here. Because I know maybe some VIBs come over here and watch me. There's one in particular, and this person changes their name all the time. Recently, a person by the name of Diego was in Foodie's chat, and I've got the screenshot. This person, Diego, was like, you need to strike Rose Thorn reactions and ambiance. I don't know who this person, Diego, is. I've seen someone in Foodie's chat that comes in every once in a while, they change their name and they try to get Foodie to come after me. I don't know why. I have no clue why. But apparently there's somebody in Foodie's chat, they've got it out for me and they wanna use Foodie to come after me. And they try to get her riled up, but Foodie don't really care about me. She doesn't care. They've tried several times, she doesn't care. But what was I going to say? <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Um, I'm trying to remember it now. <laughs> it's too early in the morning to forget. Um, never mind. I'll pick it up in a minute when I remember. Yeah, well, I don't think they'll give it two flying shits and a half, unfortunately. <laughs> Ugh, so annoying. My mama. I can't be on for long because I'm probably going to go back to sleep. Oh, yeah. I just remembered. I just remember my thought. It came to me. So, Foodie doesn't want people to stream snipe her. But for any VIBs or anybody interested, why? the reaction channel snipe her. That's because half of the stuff that Foodie does, especially anything interesting, she dirty deletes. Half her streams she dirty deletes. She's over there complaining about losing income, but yet she does it to herself because all the interesting stuff she gets rid of as soon as she's done. So she wants us to wait our turn in line. 
She wants to be able to do her streams and we wait our turn. Wait until she's done, right? That's that's the thinking. Well, we might wait our turn, foodie, if you left the streams up. But all the good stuff, all the interesting stuff, you get rid of as soon as you're done. You leave all the boring shit on your channel. The stuff that it's hard to react to because there's really nothing to talk about. But you want us, the reaction channels, to wait our turn and yet anything interesting where you might be raging and going off and you're not high and you're not just greened out of your head and barely coherent. You want us to wait our turn, but yet we know that if there's anything interesting going on, we have to record it or react to it at that moment. Because the moment you're done, you're going to get rid of it. So. If you want a system where we wait our turn in line, you want us to wait until you're done, then leave the streams up. We all know you as a dirty deleting queen. Anything good, you get rid of. I already know, reacting to you for so long, if it's, you go off about Nat or you go off about Didi, you go off about anything, you're gonna dirty delete. It's an automatic dirty delete. Automatic. Got to jump on it as soon as you see it. Because chances are it's going to be gone. And then the only other option after you delete it is to go the reaction channels. I'm sorry, the archive channels. Like say, just saying, who might have it. Then you might be able to find a copy. Leave the good stuff on your channel, foodie. We might wait our turn. It might happen, but when you dirty delete stuff, we have to capture it right then and there. Oh, and by the way, foodie, something else, something you should know, something you should have known already. Um, when you do an interesting stream, like say a rant, and then you dirty delete, all you're doing is creating more valuable real estate for the reaction channels. You're making that footage more valuable, more profitable for us. Did you realize that? See, because if you do something and then you dirty delete, we capture it, you delete it, and if people want to see exactly what happened, guess where they're going to come to? They're going to come to the reaction channels and watch it because they can't watch it on your channel. So there's another way you're taking money out of your pocket, idiot. You want people to come to your channel and watch you, but if you go off in a stream, they can't watch it through you, can they? No, they got to go somewhere else. They got to go to the reaction channels and the archive channels. You create that valuable real estate when you dirty delete full. Just wanted to let you know that, that your little dirty delete finger is costing you money. I'm kidding. Did you wash him? He just looks raggedy because of all the mascara. <laughs> Motel couch, Alexis. Most reaction channels hitting big time. I complain and tell you to leave YouTube. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Like, how are you gonna tell me to leave YouTube when, like, uh, no, it doesn't make sense at all. Like, my entire your entire con channel is about me. Not my entire channel is not about you. I got ambiance videos on my channel. And short stories. I got all kinds of stuff on my channel. And I know a lot of reaction channels that are branching out and covering different people besides you. A lot of them have already started doing it. They've already started doing it. So you're under the thinking, foodie, that without me, all these reaction channels are going to fall down and fail. No, we're not. We'll find other things to do. As a matter of fact, I had plans today to record two gaming playthrough videos. 
for a couple of games that I play on Steam, the Norwood Suite and Off Peak. I think that'd be a great introduction to the gaming playthroughs because they're artsy, fun, funky games. I think that'd be a great start. I want to do more creative things. And as far as everybody wanting you to leave YouTube, do you want to know why they want you to leave Foodie? Because your content is toxic. You could turn that around. You could do other things. You could have a positive channel. Find a whole new audience of people that are not the feeders, that are not people encouraging you to do drugs or to drink or to eat massive amounts of food. You could turn your channel completely around with a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication. But hard work and dedication are not in your vocabulary. I wish you would turn things around. I really do. But you don't care. You don't care about yourself. You don't care about your channel. You don't care about your brand. You don't care about anything. You're living in a world of illusion and delusion where you think everything's okay. As long as you get a few thousand dollars from YouTube a month, everything's okay. As long as you got enough money to give Natter and pay for Nashies and pay for your Starbucks and pay your rent, you think you're okay. And maybe you are okay for now. But the longer you keep on with this crap, the worse it's going to get. All of the road signs are right there in front of your face. And the road signs are saying, do something else, change. You see them and yet you ignore them. You're ruining yourself and you're ruining your channel. And as a woman, looking at you, another woman, I still can't believe that you and Didi are so fucking stupid. You're stupid over a man who's not even worth having. What has happened, Foodie? Before Natter, you had a channel, you were doing well, you're making money, and you've ruined yourself and you've ruined your channel over that man, your obsession with that man. And Didi's over there with him. Before Natter, she was in her condo. She wasn't getting hate on YouTube. She didn't have holes in her walls that had to be plastered over. She had a job. She lost her job. She's got holes in her walls now. You both have ruined yourselves over that man. He's not worth it. He's so not worth it. But you two idiot women chose that over what you had going on for yourselves. You're both morons. Yeah, they don't care. They hate crime unit. <laughs> Baby, I think you threw her out, yeah. When it, he moved out, he moved out of our apartment. They all say rude, hateful stuff, but if you clap back, you're a tail broke person and you brought this on yourself. Exactly. Um, I haven't really talked to BB in a little, he's okay though, I guess. I talked to him like a few weeks ago, maybe a couple weeks ago. I don't even know why you reach out to BB. He's your ex. He's moved on. His life is fine. The kindest thing you could do is leave that man alone. Let him be an ex. Let him just live his life without you. You bring nothing positive to the table for yourself or for anybody. Leave him alone. He was such a good guy that even the Kiwi farmers, when he left, they wished him well. They did not bother him. He was a good guy. You had a good guy in your life, Foodie, and you fucked it up. And I think deep inside that haunts you, that you had a good man and you messed it up. And now all that you can go for are desperate men. 
You had something good and you messed it up by just being stupid. He's the same. He's okay. You cannot play. I'm afraid you like her. <clears throat> oh my god, Aisha. <laughs> Yeah, I did turn blue my screen. That's weird, eh? Hi, damn it, Amber. It is freaking late. Oh, God. No, I'm not sad. Agatha. I saw Applebee's profile pic earlier by Pepsi. They do really funny ones. Hey, Nashi Queen, what's up? What is Amber's picture? Is it a dinosaur mask? I just heard you call the obese past hey, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, probably Alexis. There's a side profile that showed that sexy side pony. Oh, yes, Rhonda, I remember. <laughs> what time is it? Three? So I'm confused, foodie. You're up at three in the morning doing a live stream. You deliberately waited until Gary Unfiltered was done with his chat last night before you started up your stream. I like the minute he was done, you started up your stream. And here's the stream that you worked so hard to protect from everybody sniping. Well, what are you doing? It's three in the morning. You're laying in your bed, high, yawning. There's nothing extraordinary going on here. What are you working so hard to protect? What? I'm looking at you right now. I don't see anything extraordinary happening in this stream that will get you a lot of views. It's just the same old foodie. It's stupid to sit here and be so overprotective of your content when there's nothing really going on. As I said, if you were making really great content, strong content to where it's entertaining it's creative people will go directly to you regardless of how many reaction channels there are out there they would watch you and by the way the reaction channels the ones you hate so much the ones that you call content thieves are the reason why you get viewers in the first fucking place they're the reason some of the people that are in your chat, some of the people that join up to your channel, they have found you because of the reaction channels. Hello, duh. They found you because of the reaction channels. They encounter the reaction channels first, they get curious and they say, who is this person, Foodie Beauty? And they join up to your channel and some of them become VIBs. So you can hate all you want on the reaction channels. But some of the people that come to your channel come because of those reaction channels you hate so much. And if you're over there working overtime, throwing out strikes or trying to stop us from sniping, it's only going to hurt you. The reaction channel is going to go on. They're going to do well. They're going to get the engagement and the views and the super chats and the membership signups, regardless of what you do. 
We can do your content. We can do other content because we put the work in. And when you put the work in, you get the reward. If you do lazy, garbage, toxic, bitching, moaning, complaining content, it's not engaging. YouTube is a big place. There's millions of channels. And if, if anybody coming to your stream tonight, watching you, if they saw what just a couple of minutes of this stream and it's boring, you know what's going to happen? They're going to look at it and go, oh, there's nothing interesting here and move on. And there's millions of places to go on YouTube, foodie. You want someone to stay on your channel. You want them to keep coming back and be giving you views and maybe a super chat or maybe a membership sign up. You've got to put the work in to keep people engaged. Otherwise, they go elsewhere. Could be a reaction channel. Could be another type of channel. But people get on YouTube to be entertained in whatever way. And you're not providing that. You're not. It's time to face the facts. The heyday of watching the girls eat a meal, that heyday is long past. The world has changed drastically since then. The world has changed. The world has become harder. A lot of people are having trouble paying their bills, paying their rent, providing for their families. Do you understand? The pandemic happened and it's still happening. People are able to get out and do more these days. They're not stuck in the house. People were cooped up for a long time. But even now, people are still struggling to pay their bills. So can you imagine the frustration and the outrage of somebody who might be watching you and they see you on YouTube making 10 grand plus a month? And what are you doing with that money? You're using it to ruin yourself. You're not being smart. You're not saving your money. You're not paying your bills. You're not paying off your debts. You're not fixing your car. You're being foolish with it. An ordinary person who might watch you is going to look at that and go, what a foolish person. I'm not supporting this. And then go to the reaction channels. You're 38 years old, stuck in a 15, 16 year old mentality. It's sad. It's sad. It's pathetic. It's frustrating. When you think about all the things you could be doing and you're not doing, you know, like when exactly is it that you grow up and be an adult? Everybody's wondering. Oh yeah, dinosaur mask. <laughs> you're meant to stop your dreams. Oh wow, Aisha. <laughs> Let's not and say we did, Alexis. <laughs> you want to go to Farm Boy? Yeah, maybe we could do. Oh, I miss the cheese bread from Farm Boy and the onion buns. The slums of Adonis. You want to get the kebabs that look like turds? Well, I've heard of that store. There's not the market. Yeah, it's in Montreal. Well, no, my no my nose is just like dry. She's complaining a lot about that dry mouth. What are you doing that's causing the dry mouth, foodie? Some kind of chemical, perhaps? <laughs> Maybe. Ugh. Maybe there is one. I don't know. Shopping at Alta. I wonder where the closest Alta is. I'll have to look it up. 
probably like Plattsburgh or I don't know. I'm just on the way to the family reunion. <laughs> she does seem very rural, Ontario. Like Arizona. Mass. There were roads for rewards program, really. I used to watch the dumpster diving videos behind the office. Oh my god. It's three in the morning. So again, Foodie, you waited until three in the morning to start streaming. And then when you start streaming, you're not doing anything interesting. You're just laying in your bed lazy. Look at the views. Wake up this morning and look at the views. Was it worth it? Was it worth it to wait that long to start streaming? Although you were streaming all day. Was it worth it? To stream this late and hardly anybody can see that you streamed. And more information for people who are not YouTubers. If you're a YouTuber and you do three videos a day, YouTube will send out notifications for those three. After three, YouTube stops sending, uh, they stop sending out notifications. They have a limit to how many notifications per channel they send out. So Foodie did her three earlier in the day. So notifications did not probably go out for this one. Or maybe again, then again, thinking about it, they probably did because it is three in the morning, so that would count towards one of her three. But that also counts against her because if she wakes up in the morning and does three more videos, some of those videos are nobody's gonna get notifications for. And the daytime crowd is probably larger than the nighttime crowd. So she's already used up one of the three that YouTube sends out. If she does two videos, two live streams, notifications will go out for those. But anything after that, um, no notification for those. And those are the ones that might have been more people. So anyways, so that's what I did. But soon I think I just wanted to like I passed out and I woke up and I was like I remembered everyone was stream saving me and I was like no <laughs> screw you guys Oh my god yeah Angela I remember that website holy crap the people of Walmart. Arizona Jody says stream sniping live is just rude. No, it ain't. It's perfectly acceptable on YouTube. And Foodie hates that. She hates the fact that stream sniping is not against TOS. Although, like I said, she breaks TOS all the time. Perfectly fine for her. But she hates the fact that stream sniping is not against the TOS. But it's not rude. And we would wait our turn, Foodie, if you stop dirty deleting all the good stuff. You like to manipulate the YouTube system. You want to go off, you want to vent, you want to go off about Natter, DD, FFG, Just Breezin, Garlic Bread, whoever. And then you want to delete those things. So that you don't get in trouble with YouTube. You know how to play the system. You know how to manipulate the system to where you can say what you want to say and not get in trouble for it. And in your mind, if you dirty delete, it didn't happen. Well, it did. Because the reaction channels capture it. We know you. Anything good, you're going to get rid of. So either record or snipe. 
if you did not delete everything, which is your norm, you would make money on your channel. And we might wait our turn. But when you basically give us no choice, you leave all the garbage content like this on your channel, and anything interesting you get rid of, we have to either record or snipe. Have to. Have to. I always do my recorded videos. I've never sniped you. But I understand other people that do snipe you. So they just maybe just not in the mood to record you and react later. Or maybe they've got work schedules and they don't have time to wait the three to four hours for everything to process because more information about being a YouTuber, like this stream that Foodie is doing, when she's done, if she leaves it up, the video portion shows up. The chat portion takes for fucking ever, like hours to process. Another reason why we stream tonight. That's the people of Walmart, if the scooters are scary, right? <laughs> Yeah, maybe Alexis. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, hi, Chubby. Okay, yeah. Hey, Dreams here. Hey, Dreams here. Hey, Dreams here. Hey, Um. The story about the person on the community tab. I actually don't know the like the whole story. <clears throat> Somebody told me about that, and there was like a news article about it or something. <laughs> he has like a little squeaky voice, eh? of kiwi farms it's where it's just full of people who have no life and are full of hatred yeah, thank you arizona you've got the cutest meow angela thank you hi lindsay no i just got on uh 22 minutes ago and i'm probably gonna get off in like two minutes because uh i'm so tired again she's not tired she's high she's not tired Besides, she she said she took a nap and then she just woke up. How could she be that tired so quickly? What is even the purpose of Kiwi Farms? It's where it's just full of people who have no life and are full of hatred and want to drag others as down as they are. That's exactly what it is. That's my problem with, like... You know, Foodie has the same attitude towards Kiwi Farms as she does with the reaction channels. One minute she's praising the farms. The next minute she's bashing them. Same with the reaction channels. One minute she's praising us for going after Natter. The next minute she's going after us. She just can't pick a lane and stay in it. I mean, that's just what the, I guess, you know, it's just when you think about it, it serves like no purpose other than to be negative. And I don't know, am I high head? <laughs> I think I still am from earlier, yeah. Hello, hello. How are you this fine day, Lindsay? How did your um, day go? Oh, it's not uh, a good thing, so. Weird sports day. Oh yeah, time for a shower before bed. You're going to bed? The rescue black cat was told she was fixed. Whoever fixed or messed up and now her ass is pregnant. Oh my god. Oh no, really, Aisha? Shoot. That sucks. Oh no. So you have to wait for the, the cat to have kittens and everything? You broke your toe. Uh, 
That's like the worst pain ever. I know. Are you a fat use? Okay. It's no, it's not so good. <clears throat> oh no. I know the toe hurts so bad. Okay, so she's pretty much done with this live stream. So we'll just cut it off here. Uh, I don't know when she's going to come back online, but I just want to catch up to all things foodie before I start off doing the gaming content a bit later. So I hope you guys enjoyed this react video. If you have, please like it, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.